this is going to be a quick video, a supplement to how to import. I'm going to go over how to export this time. And to start at number one, if you have a project, like let me just highlight this project here. You can see I have a ton of drawings in here. If I want to export all of this all at once, even all these points that you see, and even all my control points, I can just click on that drawing, say, sorry, click on that project and click export. And I will it brings up all of the different options you have to export. So your C drive, which is on your computer, your documents folder, which is again on your, sorry, on your actual tablet. And then this is my USB or my D drive. So you can save it to any one of these. I like to save it to these folders when I want to save it back up. But if I just want to have it on my USB for transferring reasons, um, etc., I just go ahead and put it on this. So I'll say check. And it will save this project file onto my D drive. Now, remember these are only used when you have an HPL30 project file. So when I exported it, it saved this as an HPL30 project file that I can import again onto either this tablet or another tablet by using these buttons, or I can import that HPL30 file into Provost Layout Office software on my PC. Um, now, that's how you use the export. So now let me show you how you do it more manually. So for instance, each project has um, their control points, right? And they also have their layout points for each job and the actual drawing that's associated with it. So for instance, for this one, this is my drawing, right? And then I have my, here's a control point, And then these are some layout points, right? LP4 layout point. Let's say I want to export each of these individually for whatever reason. I can go ahead and go back to my home screen here. I'll go to, back into this job screen and I can easily export the drawing just by clicking it and exporting it and saying check. Choose the file path you want to export it to. I'll keep it on my USB. I'll say check. I'll override it because I already have it on here and voila, export it. Now, what it didn't ask me was what units I wanted to export my drawing in. That's because drawings, the, the units for the drawing are saved with it all the way through. So you can't change the drawing. When they're drawn in AutoCAD, they're drawn in a, in a specific unit, and that stays with the drawing. However, for layout points, I can click the layout points, and I can say, okay, for all my layout points, I want to export them. Now down here, it gives you the option of, okay, well, out of all the points that are in your job, you have control points, you have layout points, you have measured points, you have station points. You can just select a couple that you know you want. Like for instance, if you went out and did an as-built and you only want to export your measured points, you can just check this. But just for the sake of showing you, I'll just make sure they're all selected. And I'll say yes, I want to export all my points. And I'm going to export them in whatever units I desire. But whatever units I choose, I need to make sure I remember. So I'll just go ahead and export an international feet. Other options are US feet, inches, I think you have meters, millimeters, right? Because what this is going to do, it's going to give a decimal unit for all of your point coordinates and uh, you need to basically remember what units that you exported them in. The next question is um, what coordinate order are you going to export them in? So it's going to be northern, for me it's going to be the northern value, eastern value, then the height value or the coordinates. Um, you can also choose eastern value first if you want to as well, but that's what those are. Uh, and then your delimiter is how when they're in a CSV file, what what punctuation or what delimiter is going to separate each value from each other and for me I choose comma almost all the time sometimes I use a semicolon but I never go outside of those two so I'll go ahead and export all my points like this and I'll say check and then it comes to this screen where it shows all the points that are in that file so I can scroll down here here's all the points I can choose from you can either select all or you can just select a couple or a few and export those. But I'll select all and just say check. And I believe I already have this in this folder, but I'll override it and check. So there we go. I just have a CSV file that is now completed onto my USB. So I have my layout points exported, my drawing exported, and now all I need to do is export my control points, right? Because control points are different from layout points in, in their function. So I'll go ahead and go to my control points, click it, export, and same process. International feet, I'll keep those units. NEH, I'll keep those coordinates, and I'll keep my same delimiter. And it pulls up all my control points. I'll just select all, check, and I will export them.
so that is it. That is how you do things individually. Um, there's a lot of reasons why you might do one or the other, but um, I'll leave that for a discussion for... Um, it, well, I mean, feel free to leave comments in the chat if you have questions, but uh, feel free to discuss that with your measuring specialist or other people that you know use the tool to see how that might be helpful for you.